The Storm are down by two, and the time is winding down, but look at this last second effort by Xavier Coates to get the try, give his team six points. They're down two. No! They got 30, and they're up, and they win. Look at the effort. Now, he has to touch the ball to the ground for it to count. He's totally sideways, keeps it inbounds, touches it. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching, which is sponsored to you by me. Follow me, Jimmy O'Brien. Boop, ba doo doo beep, beep, ba da 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 MLS, here we come. Montreal has not lost. Chicago has not won. They're all tied up at the final seconds of extra time. They're at eight minutes, nine minutes on the clock, and the ball's just bouncing around. Montreal clears it. It goes all the way down to the keeper. He keeps it in. He's going to pass it up. And this guy, Kellen Acosta, gets it and just boots it. He hasn't scored this season, but why not? Does it? Oh, 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 what? Chicago takes the lead. How did that go in? Acosta with his first goal of the season. Chicago with their first win. He kicks the ball in celebration. Montreal with their first loss from beyond. What? What was going on? What was the keeper doing? He was just dancing around thinking it was, it just kept carrying. It did seem like he got stuck up in the wind. What? Oh my God. His teammates are like, oh my, oh, what a fool you've made of us. Boo. And then he's like, he's bad. That kid, that's rude. Look at this. Keeper's upset. And this kid just boo right in his face. And then his mom is like, what are you doing? He's He's bad. That's not nice, kid. He's bad. Oh, that's not nice. This woman hears it and she goes, oh, heart. Heart, it's okay. Heart, heart, it's okay. Minnesota versus Clarkson, women's ice hockey. Minnesota has the lead two to one, two minutes remaining in the third. They've had the lead since the first period. They haven't scored a goal since the first period, but they've had the lead. We're in the third, but Clarkson's got the puck, passes it down low, centers it, and it's in. And the game is tied. How did that go in? They're celebrating. What happened there to the Minnesota player? I didn't even see that. Oh, she got hit. Is that on purpose? Accidental? That sucks. Number 26 just kind of rocked her as she was skating by, and then the ref almost got hit. I didn't notice that the first time while editing it. (laughs) Look at the the face the ref makes after dodging it. Kind of looks down, looks at the other ref like, anything happened here worthy? She's just like, nah, and then just looks down at the girls all, all like sassy, like, get up, losers. Anyway, his dad's happy. Good high five with that son. That son didn't care, and it went off the skate. It wasn't like a pass and shoot. It goes off of the Minnesota skate in the center there. But if it cleared that skate, 26 was ready for it. Maybe she got, that's why she got so upset. She was like, that was my goal. You stole it from me. Anyway, this game went to a seventh period. It went to four overtimes. That's incredible. The puck's bouncing around, and then we're going to get a penalty right there. I don't know. That seemed a little... In fourth period of overtime, I don't think you'd be calling that, but also they just want to go home at that time. One of the longest games ever. Ooh, sent to the middle, and the rebound is put in, and Clarkson wins in one of the longest games, the second longest game in history, five hours and 27 minutes, and she was right there, ready for it, 29, cleans up the garbage. Wow, that's a long game. Once again, today's episode of Things You Missed is sponsored by me, Jimmy O'Brien. So just check out everything I'm doing. Appreciate it. See ya. The next topic we have is the Eurosport Cycling Milano San Remo. And this race comes down to just a dead sprint. An absolute dead sprint from Jasper Philipson. I'll tell you who he is. We got this dude in the orange. He's out ahead. I think his name is Tom Pidcock. Piddlecock. Tommy Piddlecock, is that his name? That can't be his name. I don't think, I don't know. I don't like that. Anyway, he's out front, but he's getting gassed. You can feel it. They're just trying to bunch up for the final push. And you're not, if you want to guess who wins right now, if you don't know, just look. Take a look at all the helmets. What place do you think this could be? Well, that's him. Way back there. The one in red, fading now, all white helmet, blue sleeves. He feels that everyone's making his move and says, oh, I got to get to the very outside. He gets to the very outside. He's still behind, but right here, all out sprint. I got to go. Did someone throw something at the cyclist? He wins. I have to go back. Someone throw something at them or did something? What is this that goes on the, see it shooting around right here on the ground. It's shooting behind them. 
hits that bike, the white bike, the th- three from the right, hits it in a tire. Someone throw something at them or did something fall off? What was that? Is that bad? Is it good? I don't know. Another thing fell. Maybe they're just going so fast things were falling or they were throwing stuff in celebration. That dude sure did celebrate. Jasper, he was way behind. What a finish, though. Just a straight sprint. Hey! Hey! It was me, Jasper! The victor. He wins. These guys act like they're happy for him. They're not that happy. It was a photo finish. Gotta love that. Recently watched Little Rascals photo finish with Alfalfa's hair. Awesome. Whoever came up with that when they wrote that movie, that was a good job by you. Oh my God, this cricket one is hilarious. Even if you don't know what you're about to watch, you are going to enjoy it. So first, the bowler bowls this ball. This is the European Cricket League. It's a wide, so it's way too far away, equivalent to like a ball in baseball. That's automatically one run for for throwing a a bad ball or a, a wide. Automatically one run. It gets through the keeper's legs, so now the runners can run as many times as they want. And then also it's going to the rope. If it hits the rope, the boundary, it's automatically four runs, which would mean that you just granted this team five runs for doing, they didn't do anything to earn it. But we have a hero fielder who comes and saves it from hitting the rope with his foot just in the nick of time. He has to jump over the fence. Now they can still run, so he's got to get back there, jumps back over. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, (laughs) the other team is laughing in their tent he is distraught and embarrassed oh my goodness so funny like such a good save here he feels very cool about that he's like that was awesome i am athletic then he hops the board tumbles over it feels great realizes he has to get back Doesn't just run and jump the barrier. He runs, jumps, and spins a 360 over it, feeling hot, 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 very cool and athletic. Then he's going to pick this ball up, and he's probably going to throw those runners out, but instead squeezes it (laughs) too tight and gives them the automatic four runs. All of that for nothing. But... The very next ball thrown, they get the wicket. It didn't even hurt. Everyone's happy. We're all good. Don't worry about it. They set him up perfectly. Chopped it right onto his own stumps. That is a phenomenal highlight. Next up is this sumo event that got sent to me really late. I don't know if this is a joke, real. It's one of the skinnier dudes versus a giant dude. And at some point, it looks like a cartoon. Like right here, he's just spinning him right round, right round. I spin you right round. He's like, stop spinning me, making me dizzy. I'm going to throw you out of this ring. He's like, no, you're not. I'm attached to your hip. I have such a good grip. And then he puts his foot, you know, he, he hugs his foot, his one foot. His two legs are the size of that dude's one leg, but he hugs him, wraps his foot around him, and then he gets him down, and the little dude wins. This came to us really late, so I didn't have time to research on who's who or what's what, if this is real or not real, but what a sight. That was awesome. I had to share it with you guys. Then we have three really nice plays in college softball. Shortstop for Creighton, Ashton Pearson dives and makes the stop. Really well done right there. But Maisie McFarland for Maryland, I think I like this one better. Into foul territory, on the run, diving catch, putting on a bit of a show. She had to get there. And then the third play we have is first baseman Jessica Garcia diving and grabbing the bunt. Look at this. She had a beat on it. Up, 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 and gets there. Three really nice plays in college softball. You guys missed those. You weren't planning on watching them. You are now caught up. And if you could kindly vote on who your fan of the week is, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel. And a reminder, sponsored by me. So go see everything I'm doing.